Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast from meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. I'm going to miss your voice on uh, Mallory the Archer. So, uh, yeah, we'll have to watch that. So, anyway, let's take a look at what's going on out there for March temperatures. Uh, I remember March being very cold. I remember these colder periods than I do more than the warm periods because, I mean, we did have a lot of numbers in the 70s and 80s. Uh, I just, I don't know, for some reason, I remember these 50s and 40s a lot more. So, you know, it's just a matter of perspective. So, yesterday we hit 81. Today, I'm calling for 85. The model 83, I think we're going to hit 85 degrees. we got a strong southwest wind. There will be a cold front moving through late in the day, but I think we're going to warm up even uh, as the front comes through, maybe cooling down late in the day. So we've got uh, tomorrow, high temperatures cooling down. We'll be closer to 70. Then we'll warm up again going into Sunday. We'll be in the upper 70s. So we definitely have some milder temperatures ahead. Now, as far as humidity goes, well, we've got uh, high humidity uh, for today. It's risen. This is some of the highest humidity between yesterday and today that we've had in a long time. The dew point's up in the mid-60s, but it drops sharply, so we dry out Saturday, and then Sunday goes back up, goes up into Monday, and then uh, you can see drops in there Tuesday, Monday into Tuesday, goes up again Wednesday. So up and down for the humidity levels. Satellite and radar, we've got uh, some quiet weather locally right now, just a few spotty showers, but boy, they had some rough weather storms last night in the Tennessee River Valley. As that system is moving to the northeast, it's weakening. This system is going to miss us, the one that brought all the severe weather to the west. So today, all we're going to have is some spotty showers. That cold front's way off to the west. We're going to warm up way ahead of it. And uh, right now, there's a few spotty showers in the area. Starting to pick up, though, Bertie County, Northampton County, and North Carolina. And this goes over to Chowan County and uh, northern Perquimans County. There's not too much in here between Corolla and Virginia Beach right now. A couple sprinkles earlier. Uh, same for Hampton to Gloucester. It's quiet. A couple sprinkles earlier. And now some of those sprinkles have made it to Nassawatox and in between there and Melfa. So Future Track has some spotty showers around this morning. Not many. I mean, it really doesn't. There might be a couple of isolated thunderstorms over North Carolina. But we get into the afternoon and we'll have a strong southwest wind, partly cloudy skies. The wind's running 10 to 20, gusts to 35 miles an hour. 6 p.m. we've got quiet weather in here. That front will be moving through, though. The winds change. There might be a stray shower with it. But then overnight we'll clear out. The humidity will drop and we'll be more comfortable. Mostly clear skies. Tomorrow, lots of sunshine in the morning. We'll have some more clouds in the afternoon. Partly cloudy skies. Winds will uh, be variable 5 to 10. And more clouds Saturday night into Sunday. And we'll have some spotty showers up to 1 o'clock, but I think there'll be a higher chance of rain as we get later into the day. Stay tuned for updates on that because the timing's been changing a little. 85 Virginia Beach and Norfolk. 85 Portsmouth. 86 Chesapeake, Elizabeth City. 82 in Killable Hill. Spotty showers this morning. Warm and windy and drying this afternoon. Same for Hampton. 82. 78 Melfa, 82 Gloucester, 85 Newport News. And anybody trying to go on the water today, be careful. Small craft advisories, I don't recommend it. Seas three to five feet, the bay's three to four feet. Maybe if you're getting a protected spot. Just keep in mind the water temperatures are chilly still. They're in the 40s at Duck, uh, 60s Oregon Inlet, and 50s in other locations. So keep that in mind that it's dangerous if you were to happen to have an accident and fall in the water. Now tomorrow, 70 degrees, partly cloudy. We've got Sunday, scattered showers, 78, and then cooler and drier early next week.